Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the static instructor. Uh, so I'm redoing this video. This is uh, gonna be a bit better than the last one. So a static instructor is like an instance constructor. It's for constructing uh, aspects of the class. But when you use a static instructor, it's for constructing the static aspect of the class. So you're gonna be setting static fields, basically. And with the instance constructor, you're going to be setting instance fields. I should probably say static members. Some people say fields uh, to refer strictly to instance members. All right, so here's an example of how you would want to use a static constructor. So we've got a basic control here. And I noticed that the control class has default things, default properties that depict how the control is initialized. So I decided to add my own default property. It's called default margin. That's a static property. And I need to set the property in the static constructor if I'm doing work ahead of time, like if I'm going to check the operating system. So for instance, if I'm checking to see if the current operating system is Windows XP, I'm going to have to do it in this constructor here. You can't just do it out in the uh, this global area. So of course you can't really run this framework version on WinXP, but it's just an example. Down in the instance constructor here, I'm simply assigning default margin to margin so that the default margin is applied to the instance. And the static constructors, they always fire before instance constructor. So the static constructor is gonna be fired once when you first use the type and then afterwards any calls or any creations of this type initializations and whatever are going to be called after the static constructor so if you want things done ahead of time and done once um, then use the static constructor so this is only going to be called once even, even if I'm creating two instances of this type. So there's once and a run, and there's no more calls. So with the static constructor, you're going to be initializing static fields, often default values, stuff like that, defaults, or you're going to be initializing a singleton. So these are the only things that I've used a static constructor for. If you're using them often, then you're likely killing your um, your uh, program flow and probably bloating your application with static members so you're gonna be considered with your staticness uh, you definitely just don't want to throw static things everywhere uh, see that as a common common mistake or malpractice or whatever you want to call it in computer programming and of course you got the one with the the instance constructor where people are constructing their their uh, WinForms base classes with the onload event and they are you know hooking to the event not even overriding the existing method to call the event and stuff like that so don't do that and don't do the other thing be very wary of what you're doing with your static stuff anyways that's it see you next video